Hello, assalamu alaikum guys. My name is Muhammad Ali and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be learning about the switch statement, which is pretty much similar to if then statement or if then else statement, but it is much easier. Okay, so let's look at that. I'll be creating an example and then we'll see how it works. And finally, we add console dot read key. So let's run this. Type the current here. If it's twenty, like twenty twenty, it's gonna say it's twenty twenty. Or if it's twenty fifteen, it's gonna say it's twenty fifteen according to this one. The case is twenty fifteen. If I say it's 2015 <coughs> awesome or it's 2016 amazing so it's gonna say if it's 2015 it's awesome and if it's 2016 it's gonna be amazing so how does this really works well, basically, I said in the line 13 or the first line in here, console dot right line type the current year. Okay, now I added the delimiter. So I took the user input of the year, and after that I said switch year. So whatever is present in year, switch it. Switch it means work on it. See what is uh, it has. If it has 2016, then give me this. So if 2016 then console dot right line it's amazing then there is a break okay so why if it's 2016 it's gonna just after it it is done with 2016 after it it is done with uh, writing this area or writing the statements or compiling the statements it's gonna just get out of switch uh, statement it's so it's gonna go out of the switch statement and come here switch statements and in here okay if it's 2015 it's gonna say it's 2015 awesome then brick and if it's uh, any other year it's gonna say it's year so it's like 2020 okay that's it it really is uh, really easier than the if statement but it has its own like drawbacks and if then else has its own um, strong points or its, its own advantages okay if i want to say if it's 2015 2016 2017 2018 then it's say it's awesome okay it's the year awesome so if i say let me take out this if i say If it's 2016, 2017, 2018, so I'm gonna say case. Okay, so if it's 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, or 2020, it should print the word amazing with it, with the year, so it should print something specific. Or I should say, um, I'm glad to be alive, something like that. So let's check it out. Yeah, it works. If I say 2020, it's going to say it's 2020. I'm glad to be alive. Okay, so if you have a couple of cases, you can put the cases up. Uh, at the top 
like this and after that you add this part okay or you add your statements which you want to uh, which you want it to run after the in these cases okay okay guys thank you very much for watching and see you later bye bye